Welcome to this experiment on falling objects. First up, we have tennis ball versus ping pong ball. Which one do you think will land first? The tennis ball, the ping pong ball, or at the same time? Pick one now. Did you see what happened? Let's have a look at the slow mo. Was that what you expected? Let's see if this experiment is reproducible with different objects. A full bottle versus an empty bottle. Do you think we'll get the same results? Let's see. Let's take a look at the slow-mo. So why did they land at the same time? The common misconception about falling objects is that heavier things will fall faster than lighter ones, which isn't the case. But heavier things do have a greater force on them, as we can obviously feel the stronger push on our hands when we hold a heavy object. But heavy things also have more inertia. Now inertia is basically how lazy an object is. So things with more inertia tends to resist acceleration, as it is lazy and it doesn't want to move. So that greater force is required to accelerate it at the same rate as a lighter object. In the same way that a loaded shopping trolley will require you to push it harder to get it going. So with the tennis ball and the ping pong ball experiment, the force on the tennis ball is greater than the force on the ping pong ball. But it has more inertia and it just so happens that the ratio of weight to inertia is the same for all objects. So they basically cancel each other out, and everything accelerates at the same rate, and lands at the same time. This experiment has even been shown on the moon during the Apollo 15 mission. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully They'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Five, five, six. Proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. Thank you for watching. There will be part two to this video where I will use maths to find out what the constant acceleration is for all falling objects on Earth. So tune into that.